After the conclusion of the panel, I spent several hours with Stuart, and we together concluded that it was a time for a change of head coach. This action was unanimously endorsed by the RFU board. We now need to look to the future, and our focus has to be upon recruiting the best possible head coach. We're looking for a head coach of international experience, and whilst this is a priority, it is important that we take sufficient time to find the right person. No, I, I, I don't duck the accountability and responsibility. If you're the chief executive of the organization, you need to deal with that. Uh, but I think it's a matter for the chairman and the board as well uh, as to whether or not um, you know, my situation is as it is. And I believe it's very important to move on and to make sure that we continue to do the best for the RFU and for rugby in England. And I've been asked to do that, and that's what I do, and I'll continue to do that to the best of my ability. It does. Yeah. I, th I think, as I said earlier, I think we'd be looking for a coach with, without um, inhibition. The, the most thing, important thing is to get the right head coach. Oh, sorry, but does that rule out an English coach at this stage? No, no. Uh, I, I think it, it, it doesn't rule out a foreign coach, doesn't rule out an English coach. Uh, the, the nationality is not important. Getting the right coach, if I may, is important.